Hey guys, it's Tim with LeatherSeats.com. In today's video, we're gonna be installing an interior kit and seat cooling system in this 2015 Chevy Silverado Crew Cab. All right, guys, we have the seats pulled out of this 15 Silverado and the new LeatherSeats.com upholstery is already installed on the driver's seat. Before we install the passenger side upholstery, I wanted to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the factory cloth covers to our new replacement leather trimmed upholstery kit. Like most of our kits, our 14 through 17 Chevy Silverado kits are actually designed for the original cloth to be removed before installation. As you can see, we use a similar style of attachments to the factory upholstery, including all the necessary J-clip, Velcro, and push clip attachments. Because we designed this kit for these seats specifically, once installed properly, they will retain a factory fit and finish. This replacement kit is also fully compatible with the factory side impact airbag system. Another major upgrade that we're installing for this truck is our all-in-one seat heating and cooling unit. This OEM quality thermoelectric device acts both as a seat heater and cooler, depending on the voltage applied from the simple built-in control switch. We have the units installed here on both seats and have them wired into a 12 volt power box to show you how the system works. This one switch allows you to operate both the heating and cooling controls. You have a high, medium, and low setting for both the heating and cooling. In order to turn the system off, you simply cycle past the low setting and the lights turn off. If I turn the system back on, you can hear the air being forced through the distribution pads. The air movement is not just cabin air being blown through the seat. Depending on the settings, it's actually being cooled or heated before coming through the pads. Once mounted properly, these pads will lay flush with the seat foam so there is no effect on the upholstery fitment once installed. Because air is being blown through the upholstery kit, it requires us to sew in a special reticulated flow foam into the backside of the inserts. We also needed to add perforation to the leather so that the air can flow through properly. We generally recommend professional installation, but for those of you do-it-yourselfers out there, in order to install this system yourself, you will need to have a decent knowledge of wiring a 12-volt system and be mechanically minded enough to modify the seat foam for a factory-like fitment. For more details, check out our Tech Tips video where Eric goes further into the installation process. Upgrading your cloth to a LeatherSeats.com kit not only gives you a surface that's much easier to clean, but also gives you the luxury and durability of leather without having to upgrade to a more expensive trim level from GM. We built this particular kit for our customer in a two-tone combination of alabaster with black centers to complement the white exterior of the truck while tying it in with the existing black interior. Because we installed the ventilation system, at a minimum, we needed to add perforation to the insert sections of the seats. However, for a more custom look, we decided to upgrade the upholstery to include perforation on both the body and wing sections. All of the double stitching and top stitching was done in alabaster thread. Although we consider this a matching stitch option for this kit, it still offers a contrast wherever the stitching hits the black leather due to the custom two-tone style. We built this kit in our premium leather content, which has leather on the seating surfaces of both the front and back seats with matching vinyl on the remainder of the sides and backs. This is more leather than is typically offered in a newer GM factory leather interior. For those looking for a more budget-friendly package, we have our deluxe leather trim kit. The front seats on the deluxe kit have leather on the seating surfaces with matched vinyl on the sides and backs. The rear seats have leather on the inserts only with matching vinyl on the rest of the seats. The deluxe content mimics what is typically offered in a newer GM factory leather interior. You can also upgrade to our 100% leather kit, which is our highest leather content available. Hey guys, we just finished installing the seats back into the truck, and as you can hear, the seat ventilation system is running great. It's over 90 degrees out here. I have the cooling set to high and I can actually feel the system blowing cooled air through the seat. We decided to do more of a stealth install on the control switches for the ventilation system. So we put them inside the opening console storage. I definitely recommend checking out our tech tips video where Eric goes further into the details of the components and installation of the seat heating and cooling system. If you have any questions about our seat ventilation system, feel free to email us at sales at leatherseats.com. In the meantime, check out the finished leatherseats.com interior.
If you have any questions about what we can offer for your Silverado, or if you'd like to receive some free leather samples, feel free to call any of our aftermarket leather experts at 866-NEW-SEAT. Leatherseats.com, custom look, factory fit.